my thoughts on Last of Us Episode 5. I am late as I don't know what, but I was pretty much scrolling through YouTube watching, seeing if in reaction people, how they feeling about the episode. And then also certain groups of reaction people who are fucking dog piss at reacting at something because they don't actually know the context behind the shit. If you're smart, you would know why I complain. I think it was in the, the, I think I did the video on, um, on episode, on, on episode, oh, it was on episode four. My, maybe I probably had said some stuff on episode four about the people that I'm talking about specifically, but for this episode, it was actually pretty good. Catherine, as a as an enemy, it was her death was poetic as hell. It was funny and poetic because she's the same person that said children are meant to die and proceeds to die by a child. A literal child clicker kills her, which is poetic as hell. Cause she said all that fucked up shit and it backfired at the end. I thought that was poetic. Henry and Sam, to me, is a lot more a appealing with him being deaf. You know? Him being deaf and unable to hear, you know? It's more appealing to me. Because I think, I, I think it's more appealing because, because it's a lot harder to survive in the apocalypse with the inability to hear, you know? That 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 problem is bad. That's really bad. And I I even knew. I think I talked about it. Maybe I talked about it. I knew that her character, Catherine's character, was literally going to be my brother was the leader of the resistance, and this position was thrust upon me. And I guessed that shit, hundred percent. My throat getting a little bit messed up, but I'm gonna have to stop playing for a little bit and so take a sip of water. I'm sorry. I'm not going to slurp like DSP, I promise. I'm sorry. See? I'm not going to do DSP type shit. That shit gross. No one wants that shit in their ears. No one wants to... No one want to hear that. No. Unless it's a, a pretty Asian chick doing ASMR. That's when it's really appropriate. <laughs> Otherwise, not appropriate at all. But... For that episode, I, f I fucked with it because it, it made it made me feel a lot more sad for Henry and Sam's demise because I feel like, well, Henry and Sam, he could talk, he had good moments with but all that, but it's really hard to have really memorable moments or, you know, great moments with your brother when you literally can't hear, when one of them can't hear you, which makes your dynamic a little bit more different and a little bit harder. Not to say it's impossible, but it's just different. You know, and I think that's very some, that's some very sad shit right there. That's sad as hell. That's really sad. But I really I I, I felt more when I watched when I saw Henry get bit. I was like fuck, because I knew. I just knew. I felt it, and I knew he gonna die. I felt that shit in my heart. I was like fuck. I know he's gonna die, but fuck. And they have, and, and both Henry, uh, Sam, and Henry. I mean, Henry and Joel having a moment, and then also having a moment between Ellie and Sam, bro. It was just so much. And then right as they go to sleep, they having their good old moment and everything. Right before they go to sleep, guess what? All the good moments in there. Right when they go to sleep, Sam turns. And then, you know what happens. Sam attacks with Ellie. After attacking Ellie, Joel tries to stop uh, Sam from killing Ellie. But you know, Henry's like, "No, that's my fuck. That's my brother. No." And he, he shot at. He actually shot at Joel in the game. He he didn't shoot at Joel. He actually shot at him. When he thought when he tried to get to the gun, he actually shot at Joel. But he didn't. He didn't. He missed. He missed his shot, which was like, "Oh shit." This nigga really will kill you. And then he shoots, he shoots his brother. Shoots his brother dead. After shooting his his brother dead, he's over here just like, just fucked up mentally. Don't know what, just can't say nothing. No word, no nothing, just quiet. 
and he's mumbling to him, so he, and then you see Joel trying to get the gu get the gun from him, and I'm like, God yeah, damn! He's a wa you're watching him slowly trying to get the gun from um from Sam, I mean Henry, and then you just you just boom, and and Ellie has to see that shit. But I also took away one of the most one of one of the impactful things to it as well. Uh, when Sam was t was told Ellie he w cause in the game he didn't tell Ellie he got bit. In the game, he, Sam didn't tell Ellie that he got bit. You just inferred it when he was like quiet. He was quiet. To me, I feel like in the game they fucked up. I feel like they shouldn't have shown Henry get bit. Uh, Sam uh, leg bite. They shouldn't have showed it. They should have just had him say. You say his line and then leave it at that and Sam turns, you know, shocking the player because it's like, oh my God, I didn't know he was turning. I didn't know he turned or anything. No one can say nothing. No one expected that. No one, no one said there, so, oh, that's going to happen. No one expects it, you know. That's why I like this because I, I didn't like it because of that. This, I liked it because of the way it was it was um done i actually really enjoyed it but they were having their conversation and eventually it's it turns to sam asking why she doesn't get scared and that's when he proceeds to tell her that he's affected in the process of telling her telling ellie ellie proceeds to cut her hand and said she tells him that her her blood might be medicine for him so she put, she cut her hand and proceeded to uh, proceeded to um, I'm sorry my throat <coughs> I'm sorry hold on <coughs> my bad but um, proceeds to cut her hand and try to put it on the wound so that when You know what I mean? <laughs> Just start a ride and they're fighting. But um when when I watched that I, I was I really I liked that and because you could see the emotion, the sadness and, and Ellie when she finds out he got bit. She was sad as hell and she tried to save him with her blood and it failed, which also puts a scar on her it scars her and it could lead to Ellie believing Joel. Cause think about it, when she said my blood's medicine why did my blood not help him when I put it in his wound? Why didn't it help? Why didn't it? Then they beat his ass. Let me see your face, bro, bro. Move. Move now. No. No. You ain't leaving. Let me see. Let me see that face of yours, bro. Well, if you ain't gonna let me see it, let me choke your bitch ass out and take it in. Let me see. Uh, mm. Damn, your face is a little bit fucked up, but not too fucked up. But I always thought that was kind of crazy that they had to go through that. And, and and the fact that the reason, the only reason why they wanted Henry and Sam, because she, Sam gave up the brother of the resistance, so she went after him for that reason specifically, not because you know what I mean. And then proceeds proceed to say Sam was supposed to die and her, her brother was supposed to live, solidifying that she's a villain, solidifying it, that she's evil, that she's an asshole. And in the process of doing that shit, it was like, damn, I'm, I'm glad she dies. I'm glad she died. You know what I mean? I was happy she died. But then, um, when she was about to kill Henry, the fucking foot, the infected just starts spewing out. This is thoughts, not a review, because this review is ass. It's ass. And I'm sorry for it. But the the attack of the, 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 click, the clickers and runners and goddamn bloated was crazy. I love the bloater and I love the child infected. I really like the little girl being a clicker. I thought that was a really good touch. And watching her do some uh, exorcist type shit, some crazy shit. 
watching her do some crazy type shit. Crazy type shit, and then just be like, yeah, I mean, crazy type shit, and um, get get the girl at the end that says children, they're supposed to die in this world type shit. And she gets mauled to death by, and Joel didn't, they were looking at her. They could have saved her, too. But instead, they just let her get killed. It was hilarious. They let her die. Because Joel could have shot that thing off of her. And Joel could have shot the thing off her. Or, you know, all that. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. He, they knew. They didn't know that though. They didn't know I had a hiding spot though. <laughs> but I was saying, um, that was kind of crazy. Get your ass in here. Well, I think I killed that man. Oh okay. God, get back here. Like why they come back all of a sudden, bro, bro? I was saying, like, bring your ass here. <laughs> I don't know what you thought this was. Bring your ass here. But, but that was great. That was that was the best part about it. I'm not, not in the right headspace. This is not. This ain't the right headspace type. Let's just say under the influence of certain items. This is that type of review. So I'm sorry I forget stuff. Um. The next part I want to talk about is next thing I want to talk about is you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? The next part I want to talk about is the why I think the that they're going to do a certain thing. They're going to do the, the the reason why they did Henry and Sam this way and Joel displays that Joel's gonna push if she go in the next episode I guarantee it's gonna it's gonna have Joel push Ellie treat Ellie a lot differently than he's been treating her that you expect him to be treating her from the start of the game from the start of the show you expect Joel to treat her like how he treated her throughout the game until Tommy's but in reality it's the opposite which I actually enjoy better I like it better that it's this way and you start seeing his survivalness come in and he's like uh-uh push her far away seeing all the shit going through tests losing tests and start caring about Ellie and stuff then he cuts her off he practically he cuts her completely off and in that cut cutting her off that's when you know when Tommy pops up Tommy pops up and changes the game for him for, for practically his entire living life until uh, the part two, season two. So, yeah. I think that that's what they're doing. That's what they're going for. And I like that, what they're going for that instead of doing the whole obvious, well, we're just going to have, we're just going to have You know what I mean? Just gonna have the same old, same old. It's better this way. You know? So. Damn. But yeah. I'm saying, um, but when, um, but, um, in, um, Oh fuck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is becoming DSP levels of shit. I'm sorry. Let's get to it. Let's get, let's get my game. Let me get my get my get my get my shit in right. Let me get my shit right. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um Henry and Sam. I fucks with the, the way they did Henry and Sam, the way they died. I fucks with that. I didn't 
really Catherine. I didn't really mind. Upset Joe might hate Catherine, but I don't hate Catherine. Even though she's kind of meh, she's a mid-tier, uh, she's like that uh, filler enemy bad guy you need for your anime or something. You know, he's it, it, she's filler. She's a filler till you till you get to the real shit. Till you get to your Negans or your 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 uh, your fucking goddamn governors type beat. You know what I mean? You're not gonna. You, they gotta be that way. They gotta be this trash. Krakatoli type stuff, or else you ain't, you know? You know what I'm saying? But, for the time being, I'm fucking with how they're, how they're treating um, Joel. How they're treating Joel is the best, in my opinion. Because I think him being a more caring, compassionate guy, well, not, well, yeah, caring of other people, or like, you know, showing emotions and shit, I think that's good. Because I didn't like him being such an ass to Ellie when he try when she tries to help him. When he was in downtown, I was like, man, fuck this. Joel's a piece of shit, bro. Why you treat Ellie like that? Because it's like, I think he's an, that's an asshole thing. Because she's just trying to help you, and you over here get mad at her for saving your life, you know? Ungrateful and shit. That's why I was kind of like, man, fuck Joel a little bit there. But. But they did, they did, they did wonders for, uh, for him at the very, the very end when we start getting to the climax of the story in the, in the game. And I already know they're going to do the route I just said where they, uh, they take Joel, make him this happy, they, you know, care, start caring for Ellie type B, and then eventually realizing that it's becoming a problem where he's starting to worry about her and start, you know, developing emotions and feelings for it, it's like, yup, it's over. He's gonna, he's gonna ditch her. He's gonna ditch her to, to not have that. He's gonna ditch her ass, which makes sense, which is a better, better than him being an ass to her for no reason. Like, he had no legitimate reason to be an ass to her, but he was an ass to her, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, I, I fucks with that. So uh, that was good. Cat, uh, when Tommy, when the voice of Tommy got killed by that damn bloater, bro, that was cool as shit too. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I can. That's some crazy shit that I could do that with the knife. With, with yeah, that's some tech if you want to be able to do bare hand. If these uh, Assassin's Creed channels want to start doing bare handed combat. But with um, but have problems with these Gennardos. You uh, turn, you hidden, put the hidden blade out, and then you switch to your fist. When you when you disarm with the hidden blade, you disarm with the hidden blade, switch to your fist, and just start keep pressing the button, and then you'll get that. But any counter you do will be considered considered a uh, uh, a hidden blade attack. So sorry. Can't, can't win them all like shit, you know what I mean? But it's better than not them doing this, disarming them and go barehanded and do this. See, see how trash that is? But um, there you have some advice there. Um, oh shit, I don't know, I thought he was gonna hit me. But um, the, one of the best places in the story in my part was when Joel saves Ellie from David. One of my favorite parts. Because you start seeing him show real like concern for Ellie's safety and stuff. You start actually seeing him really care about Ellie. Like a like a real moment of that shit. Instead of you know and I hope they keep that I hope they keep that energy for, for when they get to that part. But I have hope for them because episode three was good. It kept it, kept, it. It did way more for the character. It made it justified its existence by making it a more fleshed out bill. Yeah, you might miss those moments, but the only reason you had those long ass moments is because it because you had dead time, bro. You had a lot of dead time. You had so much dead time. You know, there's so much goddamn dead time when you um. Damn, push me on my ass, huh? 
Don't treat me like I'm your bitch. Come on, Susan. Who's Susan? I'm Henry. Fuck you. But I'm saying like, um, with that, it was it was really good because, damn, the carnage. It, oh, you can't kill. Okay, well, can I? Well, when I reload this gun, you're a pound cake. You know that? When I reload this gun, you're pound cake. <laughs> but um, I just think. Yep, dropped it. I wish you can keep it in your hands. That's why I like uh, Unity, where you can fight with, you can keep the gun on you. You can always keep that strap on you. But, whatever. You know? I could do a, a permadeath run for Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey, but I don't know if I really want to do that dumb shit. I feel like it's gonna be AIDS, which it will be. So many AIDS. It's so AIDS. <laughs> Doing that shit is AIDS. But I know that if I, I would come in my pants if I beat it, bro. I just know it. Cause if I beat it, bro, from all the bullshit, I beat that. Yo, boy, your friend, your, 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 your mom, like, the, hold on. Your crush, I hit that. Your sister, I screwed that. Your mom, I fucked that. You know what I mean? I'll be hype. I'll be the hypest man on earth. It'll be hype. Be like that dude who played Dark Souls and did not get hit once in all of the Souls games, including Sekiro and stuff. All that. I'll be just like him, but without the crime. <laughs> Sorry, it just I can't cry for that stuff. But I can force myself to cry, which is I used to do creepy light shit. You know what I mean? A little creepy best. I think I was born on this earth to be a manipulator. I think that's my purpose, manipulation. And I need to start turning into that because no per not a lot of people could just force themselves to cry like that and actually look convincing. You know. Real convincing fake crying, you know what I'm saying? And that's scary, because it shows I have potential to be a fucked up person, a lot of potential. But I try to keep myself in check, like everyone should, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't go becoming the supervillain like Seth the Programmer. That shit was hilarious. Hearing all the shit that came out about that nigga, that shit was the funniest. It wasn't even offensive. I was laughing at it. I thought it was funny. I thought that shit was funny. You know? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I forgot. This ain't Assassin's Creed. This ain't... This ain't 4. But yeah, like I'm gonna go on a rampage, but um, I just think that was that was cool. I think that was cool. You know what I'm saying? But personally, it's like you know what I'm saying. Um, my final thoughts on the episode, un uncoherently, incoherently, I should say, uh, I give it a solid eight. The episode's an eight. The episode's an eight. The episode's legit an eight. You know what I'm saying? The episode's a complete eight. That's even if it's in my mind, went to any point. I think it's a eight. You know? <laughs>